a quick little update here in the cottage garden. I planted all of the creeping flocks that I had in the front island bed that was nearest to the driveway here in this cottage garden along the back of my house. This creeping phlox is pink, and I believe there are two varieties of pink. One is called Drummond Pink, and I'm really not sure what the other pink would be called. I just believe there's two different varieties of pink. One is more of a lighter powdery pink, and then one, the Drummond, is a hot pink that I got from a local nursery. So this is the third location that this creeping phlox has been in. Originally, I planted it in the beds along the front of my house, and then I moved it into the island bed. And then when we got rid of the island beds, it was very, very important to me that I salvaged this. So a few days ago, I planted it here in the cottage garden. And I planted it at a minimum of, of about 18 inches apart because the, the smallest variety of this grows 18 inches wide and about six feet, in, six inches tall. And some of it's not looking so great, but I do think that it's going to do well here in this cottage garden because it gets a good deal of sun. And it needs full sun to bloom and do its best. So anyway, I have it staggered just like along the front of the border. And then I placed some of it kind of out here in the middle area as you can see, and then um, I just sort of randomly, but not randomly, just uh, placed it here in the bed. Eventually it will grow together and it'll become a blanket of pink every spring. See these right here, it'll be, it'll be a blanket of pink back there behind this knockout rose in front of that grass before too long. I think it's gonna be just really, really showy. This one looks nice. And over here in the curve that starts my south facing garden, I planted the last little bit of it staggered at 45 degree angles and it will just become this part of the bed will be just a blanket of creeping fox very pretty very excited The sod just arrived, and I'm gonna show it to y'all. It looks so pretty. This is centipede sod, and we are about to lay it in the front, and I can't wait to see what the transformation is gonna look like. We got five pallets from a local company. All right.
Hey y'all. It's Friday morning and I'm literally sitting out on my front porch having my coffee watching the sprinkler and staring at the grass. It's so soothing. So it was a long day yesterday. It was just me and John most of the day laying side. So we got a lot done for two people. We laid almost five pallets by ourselves. Ian came around four and he helped us with the last little bit. But it really wasn't that bad because we had the radio going and we were in the zone. Some of you guys asked about uh, our weather situation here with Hurricane Ian, and it turned out we did not get any effects of Ian, but um, I just wanted to say that our thoughts and prayers are with everybody who are being affected right now <clears throat> by the hurricane, and we're going to be watching and keeping updated on everything that's happening, and thinking about you all. Well, I hope y'all have a really good weekend and I am excited to hear what y'all think about the front yard. I think that the lesson I've learned maybe throughout this is that sometimes really less is more. simplify. Okay, y'all. Talk to you soon.